All right, guys, we are back with our Odin barrel with our Coyote bullet of choice for this year, which is the 53 grain V Max out of a 223. And the chamber on this is a 223 Wild, I believe. We are running a Sharps upper receiver. I'm going to be trying out a couple more powders today. Um, I think I know what I'm going to stick with already, but I kind of want to see what happens when we shoot an even faster powder because it seems like the faster we go, the smaller the groups are getting. I don't think that'll probably be that simple and that consistent but I'd like to see what a couple faster powders are gonna do so we're running accurate 2460 we've got four groups to shoot with those or with that powder and then we're gonna have another four or five round groups to shoot with h322 by Hodgden so that's what we're gonna be shooting right now um, I've got eight groups to shoot we're running the chronograph hopefully it works good today um, kind of had some trouble last time but it's cool enough today. I don't think I have to worry too much about barrel heat. So we're just going to go ahead and get started and uh, hopefully shoot some tight groups. Aside from that first shot, that was actually a pretty good group. And it's actually uh, pretty windy today, so I'm gonna, as best I can, try to shoot between gusts, but um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to avoid it entirely, so I'm just gonna try to kinda do the best I can. Might just completely ignore it, <laughs> just because, um, as usual, limited time, limited daylight, so gotta get through it, but I hate to, to rush things, but you only have so much time to work with. So the first group that we shot was with 25.8 grains of accurate 2460. The next group we're gonna shoot is 26.3 grains. We're going up in 0.5 grain increments today just because of lack of brass to work with for, for you know, lack of time. Anyway, 26.3 grains of accurate 2460. Gonna shoot another five shots and uh, See if we get another flyer on the first round. Got some weird flyers on that first round on both of those groups. Aside from that, they're looking pretty darn good actually. Velocities are... They're not super tight, but they're a heck of a lot tighter than some of the other stuff that we've seen through this barrel with the, the slower burning powder, so... I'm, I'm okay with it. I mean, I don't like that we're getting that first round flyer. That's kind of weird. But... All in all, I've seen a lot worse, <laughs> so I'm not complaining too much. The next group is going to be with 26.8 grains of accurate 2460. I'd like to see this first round flyer crap go away. It's the only thing that's kind of bumming me out here, really. 3,193. 3,229 3,233 3,217 3,227 <laughs> I, I don't know what the deal is. This is just, it's weird, but all in all, we're actually, we're grouping pretty good, so I'm, I'm happy right now. The velocities on that one, we're getting like around 15 feet per second standard deviation on average based on the last two groups. I didn't read them off, but they're pretty much the same. Um, 35 to 40 second, or I'm sorry, a 35 to 40 feet per second extreme spread and then like a 14 to 16 extreme or a standard deviation so far. That's looking like about 
normal with the, these loads here. The next one that we're going to be shooting is 27.3 grains. And this is the, I believe, published max from the Hornady book, if I'm remembering right. So one more group of this powder, and then we're going to be moving on to the next powder, which is the H322. 3,258. 3,274. 3,278. 3,311. 3,290. Those ones are coming out of there pretty quick. Looks like there was a average of like 20, or I'm sorry, 32, 82 feet per second. That was our average velocity and then extreme spread of 53 with a standard deviation of 18 that's not really great um, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to h322 I'm really really hoping that the h322 shoots well I'm I've got high hopes for it but you never know until you pull the trigger so we're gonna let the barrel cool down a little bit here because I did just shoot those kind of fast and we're gonna move on to the next powder which we will be starting again we're doing half grain increments today 23.5 grains is going to be our starting load, uh, five shot groups again, and then we're going to be moving up to 25 grains on the last group. So I'm going to go ahead and dump the mag, load the mag up, let the barrel cool down for a little while, and then we'll go ahead and get started on the next group. All right, next up, 23.5 grains of H322. 2840 2833 2845 2851 2854 Another weird deal where the first shot dropped way low Quite a bit. Hey, the, the velocities were a lot tighter though. That was a extreme spread of 21 and a standard deviation of eight with an average of 28.44. So I think they were coming out a little bit slower than the other ones were on the initial charge that we used, but the velocities are tighter. I always like seeing that and the gun seemed like it was running smooth. So that's a plus, but I want to see the group shrink because if I'm gonna be shooting at a coyote, I'm not going to be putting through rounds to eliminate cold bore. I need to know where they're gonna hit on the first shot, so I want them to stack in a little more tightly as an entirety. So the next group we're gonna be shooting is 24.0 grains of H322. Like I said, I'm, I was kind of expecting better results with this powder, but group-wise, I need these things to shrink. It's just the first round flyer thing ain't gonna fly. 2955 2943 2968 2905 2941 That group sucked. The ooh <laughs> stream spread and standard deviation opened up a lot. Average of 29.42, extreme spread 63, and standard deviation of 21. So that was not good. I am going to let the barrel cool off a little bit, and we'll try again. All right, next group is gonna be 24 and a half grains of H322. 3,063. 3,037 3,047 I really want to quit right there but we got to keep going 3,038 3,039 Man, it was almost a phenomenal group but we ended up having a split group in the end 
Luckily, there was no weird first shot flyer, so at least it broke that chain of consistency. So, velocities on that one were as follows. 3,044 feet per second overall average, extreme spread of 26, and a standard deviation of 10. Got one left. It's going to be with the max charge, if I remember correctly, 25.0 grains of H322. Hopefully it's the best group we shoot. Three thousand one hundred twenty-eight. Three thousand one hundred thirteen. Three thousand one hundred ten. Three thousand ninety-three. Overall, I'm pretty pleased, actually. I'm not ecstatic, but I think I'm, I'm getting a better idea of what this gun can shoot, what it's capable of, and what it likes. Uh, faster powders are definitely a heck of a lot better than slower powders. So, average velocity on that last one was 31, 19 feet per second, extreme spread of 62, and a standard deviation of 21, which is not good. So, like I said, um, a lot of stuff going on here. I will actually shoot one last group here with the best load from the last test that we used which is using a powder that I like quite a bit. Um, it's gonna be with IMR8208 XBR. And I just loaded that round backwards. Shows how smart I am. So I've got 10 rounds loaded here. I don't remember their ciders. I, I wanted to use them as a baseline to see what these shot like after I got done shooting these, if there was anything weird. But I wanna go ahead and shoot them anyway, just to see still what they shoot like in the different temperature and conditions and whatnot but these shot really good last time i think that was a it was a 0.6 inches for a five shot group so it shot well now i am seeing consistent vertical dispersion on all these groups so if i see the same thing with these that's a pretty good sign that it is me and and how i'm set up and the way i'm situating the gun so I think we should just shoot all 10, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Let's let's do that. Uh, even though I'm probably gonna blow it, <laughs> have like a really good five shot group and then screw it up. So we'll shoot these and we'll call it a day so that I don't have to continue boring you guys. All right, some unknown number of granules of 8208 XBR by IMR. I, I'm almost certain I just pulled that shot. There was a lot of movement on that one. I'm gonna blame that heavily on me. 3,083. 3,090. 3,052. 3,053. 3,045 3,072 3,026 3,001 Well, we had uh, 8 out of 10 shots inside of an inch, I'd say, so that's pretty good, I think. Um, our velocities were... Not great again. 3,055 feet per second uh, extreme, or I'm sorry, <laughs> that was our average, was uh, 3055. Extreme spread of 89 and standard deviation of 27. Now, I wanna blame that on the first and the last shots, but I don't know what the first shot was because I did not set up the, uh, or forgot to turn on the chronograph basically, and then the last shot, looks like it was quite a bit lower. So if we deleted that, it would actually help us a decent chunk, but still. Um, well, I guess, yeah. So anyway, um, that's a, the video, guys. It's It wasn't probably super informative, but 
I needed to know for myself some information about this barrel and I think I I I learned some stuff so hopefully you guys did but Acura 2460, H322, and IMR 8208 XBR were the subjects of this video. All the brass was the same. Shooting Starline 223 brass, which has been fired. It's not new brass. And we're using the Federal Gold Medal Match AR type primers. The small rifle, obviously, for 223. So, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please do the works. You know, subscribe, like, and all that garbage. And we'll hopefully see you on the next one. You guys stay risen, stay safe, take care, and we'll see you next time.